we're going to talk about the octave key. I'm going to break the octave key I'm, so I can show you what happens. If your student comes in and says, my horn will on, my saxophone will only play in the high register, nine times out of ten, it's because the neck octave key is bent open. So you can see it's bent open here. So when you try to play, all it will play is in the high register. And it'll sound terrible. But when you try to play in the lower register, it won't do it. You have two octave keys. You have a side octave key. You have an upper octave key. The side octave key opens when you play G down F E D. The top octave key is open when you play A, B, C, and up. So a quick way to fix this is to stabilize the bottom part of the key with your thumb and your finger and where the pad is to press down holding to where you shorten the distance. You're doing opposite what the child did to, to bend the key. So that shortens the distance. So when you open the key and let go, it closes. Therefore, it'll play in a low register. <laughs> to check to make sure the octave keys are working properly is to match the octave key with your thumb, the thumb and octave, B, A, G, and then with you, on the G key, move it up and down. You'll see the neck key close and open properly and the side key open and close properly. So that's the way you check to make sure they're working properly. As a side note, something else that can affect your octave key, this is called the floating lever. This is the in plug. You always tell your students to make sure they put that back every time they get through playing. Because if they don't, when they put it in a case, it hits the case and bends this key. That's something you can't straighten easily. And if you do, a lot of times it'll break off. So all you have to do is put the in plug in and you're safe.